Hi guys, it's Autumn. Um, I'm here to do a pour with you today, a dirty pour. I did it for the first time yesterday and I'm kind of addicted. So um, I want to do some forest themed ones. I don't know if these colors are going to do it any justice, but we'll see. Here we go. I'm going to do one with white and one without white, just because. I just thought it would be better that way. I'm probably going to ramble a lot because I don't have anybody to talk to because it's just me in here. Oops. But I did a bunch of different colors for this. And I'm hoping it turns out nice. But we'll see, I guess, right? <laughs> day for me. I don't know about you guys, but it's been a, a bit of a day. Not, not a bad one, but just a long one. But um, if you guys have any color ideas, let me know. I've already been getting some ideas from people, and I'm really liking them so far, but um, obviously it's always nice to have a little more ideas so that you're not just kind of like Oh, what should I do next? But um, I'm kind of new to this. And I apologize that the lighting is kind of crap. It's very poopy lighting, but you know, I'm literally just using my cell phone and a tripod I got off of YouTube. So there's that. Um. I feel like I'm forgetting colors. I don't want white in this one. I want to just see what it looks like with one without white and one with white. Put more of this green in there. I feel like I may not have mixed these very well. I guess we'll find out real quick. <laughs> okay, well that's it for that really nice light green. That one's pretty much gone. I think I want a little more copper in this one. Oh my gosh, the golden copper, you guys, is just so pretty. I wish I could. I wish my lighting was better so you could see it better, but you can't really. So it's kind of kind of annoying, but yeah. It's really pretty. The pigment is just gorgeous. And after you put the medium in, it just stays really nice. And it doesn't really go away like some of the other ones might. And, and I know you guys might be saying, oh, forest colors, why does she have red? I don't know. I like, I, <laughs> so I was honestly, the first thing I was thinking to myself when I was trying to figure out what colors I wanted to do, I was like, oh, forest themed, let's do a forest themed because I love the forest and trees. But then I grabbed a red and I squirted red in the freaking cup and I was like, wait, <laughs> what in the forest is red? I'm like, uh, well, we're going with it. Because it's already happened. That's or I've already done it. Oops. All the little drippy drips. Like I already made the, the color, so we're just gonna have to kinda go with the flow and <laughs> just take it. <laughs> Cause it's already been done. I'm not gonna waste any paint. Even if I done fudged up a bit, you know. Alrighty, well I think this should be about it. So let's go ahead and flip these puppies. I'm not going to do it like this. Sorry, just a second, people. There's one. This is like the most nerve wracking part. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm worried, especially since I'm actually doing this in my, in my room right now. I don't have an art studio or anything. I live with my parents still, unfortunately, but um, hopefully next year I'll be getting my own place. But, um, well, that's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, like I'm using my room right now and I'm so, so freaking out that I'm going to accidentally get some of this freaking paint on my dad's carpet. 
because he will freak out if I get paint on his carpet. And I'm not even kidding. He will legitimately freak out and probably be like, hey, Autumn, you need to pay for my carpet now. Which, obviously, I'd be willing to do because I fucked it up. <laughs> but, yeah. So, there's that, too. <laughs> Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm just kind of waiting for the the paint to fall a bit more but yeah like I did nine of these with a friend yesterday and I'm not even kidding like it's so freaking addictive I went this morning and bought two more bottles of the painting medium that I need to make these and I didn't want to um mix the paint on camera just because it's I'm not even kidding when I say it's a really boring process but um this is the most exciting part because you get to see all the color and the cells happening and I've got my little fancy culinary torch by Leocor. I couldn't figure out how to use it at all at first but then I figured out where the butane levels are at and stuff like that and things worked a lot better after I did that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do the right one first here. Just because I'm a right-hander. <laughs> okay. I like to do this a little bit first. Oop. Ooh. It's got some cells going on right there already. Oh, I should put that in the camera a bit more. Sorry for that. I'm just trying to move that one out of the way while I do this one. Oh, that one's got some really cool cells going already. sure you guys see that still. I don't know if this is foresty, but it's still kind of cool. And I apologize ahead of time um, if I'm quiet. As I said, this is not my house. This is my mom and dad's house. And I have little sisters sleeping in the room next to me. And if I wake them up, there will be hell to pay from them and the parents. I love this top part right here. This part's looking really cool. Yeah, I've literally, I'm not even kidding when I say that. I've been thinking about doing this all day long. Been at my day job working. And really wanting to do this. Oh man, this paint is all chunky. Oh, and also if you hear meows in the background, I do have a cat in this flipping room and she requires constant attention. Otherwise she will, she'll talk to you and demand it until you give it to her. So I apologize for that. If that happens. She's doing good so far, huh Sam Sam? real quick on my shirt that I've got here. I would have some music going, but all those copyright fun, they would get mad at me if I did that. So I did not put any music on. All right, let's light this puppy up. Let me turn you around. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see it. Look at all that popping up right there. That's cool. Okay, let's put this one aside now and do the other one. 
now I'm going to make a mess of my hands all over again and this is like my art shirt <laughs> I just clean my hands up all the time on those on that send me back out again I'm so sorry for my my camera setup is super, super horrible. But, you know, poor. Don't got much monies. All the monies I do have is for college. <laughs> All right, let's do a little swipey swipe and a bloop. I don't know how I feel about this color pal palette. It's kind of not really what I would like it to be. I was thinking of something way prettier. But it's okay. Because I can always do more later. This paint is kind of chunky and that's not good. <laughs> oh. Chunky paint. <laughs> Those look like jalapenos. <laughs> it's jalapeno art, you guys. If you like Mexican food, this is the painting for you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this literally looks like someone went to Taco Bell and then threw it all up. <laughs> that kind of makes me sad that this looks like a Taco Bell painting. <laughs> and the brown makes it really muddy looking. But that's what this is for, right? Just trying things out. There's little chunkies in here and it's upsetting me. This one's definitely way cooler, I feel like. Like, I like the white that pops through on this one, but... This, like, it seriously looks like jalapenos, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you all agree, but yeah, this is, this is like someone farted Taco Bell. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's torch it. Now it doesn't look like jalapenos. That makes me happy. <laughs> oh, it's starting to pop up a bit there too. Oh, the copper right there is so pretty. Look at all shiny, guys. The dirty cups. I need to actually just get like a big trash bag to throw all my trash away in because this is a little, this is a lot. Actually, not a little, it's a little, it's a little lot. <laughs> Look at that. That's actually really pretty. This one's kind of cool. Didn't care for it at first, but I'm liking it a lot more now. It's not jalapeno anymore. <laughs> it's a little different. <laughs> Here's 
super cool. Alright, well, that does it for this video, I think. But, um, let's zoom out so you can see both of them again real quick. Just in the last little look-see. Well, they're not both in frame. That's kind of poopy. But, just like that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. Like I said, I am no way, shape, or form good at filming. But, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> my version of a forest pour. Or, at this point, I think I just want to call it ode to Taco Bell or ode to Mexican food because this reminds me of salsa at this point and then this one I don't know refried beans <laughs> with sour cream it's like Mexican dip you know what it's a seven layer Mexican dip is what is what these are going to be called ode to seven layer Mexican dip with chips and not just any kind of chips it has to be those really good what are they called the um oh crap why is it it's a restaurant. There's a restaurant and they've got a brand of chips and they're delicious. And they would go perfect with this seven layer dip. So anywho, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.